Alright, what is going on everybody? Today we are doing a Fantasy Drift Rebuilding Challenge and it is the 30th pick Fantasy Draft Rebuilding Challenge. So if you guys enjoy these Fantasy Draft Challenges and you want me to do any stipulations in these, let me know in the comments and also drop a like on this video. So it's pretty much we're going to have the 30th pick in every single round and I decided to use the Suns today because I feel like the Suns have not had a, had a lot of draft luck in these past couple years when it comes to the draft lottery. So we're going to act like their luck kind of transferred over here and we have the 30th pick in every round. So that means like the Celtics have the first pick in every round. The Warriors have the second pick in every round. They're going to be stacked. So I'm hoping Ben Simmons falls to me. Never mind. Ben Simmons went 17. Usually he would go late 20s. So let's see who falls to me. Okay. Because uh, uh, my... Oh my God. Uh, yeah. Why is Capella such an 86? I feel like he's higher in these. Okay. A mindset could be... What do I want to do? Do I want to take a young player like D'Angelo Russell? Or do I want to take a proven player but that might be making a crap ton of money? Like uh, Al, um, a Kevin Love or a Gordon Hayward. Who went the pick before me? Draymond? No! Donovan Mitchell went 28. Oladipo went 25. Booker went 24. Where did Porzingis go? He went 13. Where did Cat go? He went 9. Did Embiid go? Oh, uh, Embiid, yeah. Went 15. Damn it. Alright. I really don't know who... Like, that's a, like, we could take Tatum. I mean, Tatum does have a lot of trade value, so he could be using the trade later on. Um, do I want to take Tatum? Do I want to take Tatum? Uh, Miles Turner is here. I think I might take Tatum. I think I might honestly take Jason Tatum, just because he's cheap. He'll progress to at least an 87 by the time this rebuild's over. And he's making $5 million. So we're going to take Jason Tatum. Yeah, we're going to take Jason Tatum. Ugh. I don't know how that's going to be. I need to bank on that pick because that's our first round pick and then we don't pick for another 30. Okay, so Paul Mills up here. Drogic. But I know Jalen Brown is here. I don't want to take two Celtics, but I know who else might be here. Lonzo Ball. I think I'm going to take Lonzo. Incredible trade value. Very young. We'll progress well. We're going to take Lonzo Ball. Cheap. Jalen Brown goes to the Celtics. Ah, look at that. I'm guessing Marco Fultz is going to go any minute now. Wait, did Fultz... Okay, Fultz must have went this round. Did Fultz not go? What? All right. Did Fultz not go? All right, I might have to draft Fultz and trade him. I might have to do that. Uh, I, I really might have to do that. Wait, is Fultz right here? Yeah. Fultz... All right, we got to take Fultz. We're probably going to trade Fultz and roll with Alonzo, but that's incredible trade value I can't pass up on. So... Mello? Uh, I don't really want to take Mello. We could take the, uh, what is his joke? The plumber? Bogdanovich? Bogdanovich? Uh, Rudy Gay? Honestly, do I want to just take the young player out? Josh Richardson? Kind of like Josh Richardson, but I, don't, I think there's a lot better players on the board. What's like the better young players? Any like stud young players still? Bam out of bio. Jonathan Isaac. All right, I'm going to take Jonathan Isaac. Damn it. I didn't want to take all these rookies. That's the fourth rookie. That's like the mindset or the approach I'm taking here is just a bunch of rookies. Oh, all right. Let's take Frank Nielakita. Let's take Frank Nielakita. Screw it. We're going to build a sick team based off these rookies. So, and we're going to have a crap ton of cap space. Damn it. Uh, Malik Monk went. So, we're going to take Dragon Bender or Dragon Bender. And I'm just going to make one more pick and then I'll see you guys with the team. I'm going to take Dwayne Denman and I'll see you guys with the final roster. All right, guys. So let's see what the coaching roster wants it to be. So I did draft Danny Green. Also, uh, Joakim Noah. I auto-drafted and they drafted Joakim Noah. Thank God this isn't like realistic. So let's see. Who do I want to send to the G League? I feel like Neil Akina, up his trade value. We're going to send him to the G League. Uh, Jonathan Isaac, I think I might also send. Uh, Zach Collins. Actually, let's send Zach Collins to the G League. Yeah, so let me just sign somebody in free agency. Uh, Ameka Okafor, former top center in the NBA. Wait, I want to check Okafor's stats. When was he, like, amazing? They don't have his stats in the game? Ugh. Yeah, it's not, like, the rosters, I guess, aren't updated, too, because I feel like some of these overalls are kind of low. Uh, so I wanted to send Zach Collins to the G League, and I really don't care. I hope we're bad, and then I plan on making some big trades in the offseason and some big signings. I will see you guys at the end of season number one with uh, our record, and hopefully we're going to have a top pick in this upcoming draft. All right, guys, in yesterday's Oklahoma City Thunder rebuild, I made a joke that I was like, oh, Nick Collison, he was traded from the Super Sonics to the Thunder, and so many people in the comment section thought I was serious. I literally, like, smiled at the camera for that reason. I make that joke all the time, and people still think... I'm serious with that. I, I don't know if that looks worse on you that you think I'm serious or looks worse 
or it looks worse on me that I don't know. I, I really don't know because I, I was obviously kidding. I know the Supersonics, the Thunder were an expansion team based off or they relocated from the Supersonics and Nikolson was on that Supersonics team and went to that team. Yes, I know he wasn't traded because so many people in the comment section were calling me an idiot when I clearly was kidding, but I guess nobody gets sarcasm these days, but... Speaking of the Thunder, Simmons balls out in his rookie year and gets rookie of the year with the Thunder. I don't think we're getting any awards yet. None of our rookies got it. Giannis MVP on the Hornets. I guess I, I should show you guys the, uh, I think the Hornets, Heat, Celtics, and Warriors teams. They're probably stacked out of their mind. I mean, we probably had a bunch of people on the all-rookie team. We had Monzo on all-rookie first team. We had Fultz and Tatum on all-rookie second team. We were 25 and 47. The Kings were a one seed. Okay. Who was their number one? Oh my God. Wow, that team is not good at all to be a one seed. Wow. The Warriors didn't make the playoffs. You're kidding me. Kevin Durant, Clint Capella. Uh, why'd you spend your third round pick on Tyreek Evans? But still, had that team not make the playoffs, but that Kings team were, was a one seed. Now, the Celtics had a really good top pick. They had Jalen Brown, LeBron, Love, Melo, Jeff Teague. They get a better center. That seems scary. They got one on the Eastern Conference. Hornets were good. They have Giannis, Harris. Gobert, that's good. And then I remember the Heat were solid. They didn't even make the playoffs. They have Kawhi, Smart, Kemba. It's a bonus. All right. So we can. Sh I'll show you guys the stats. And then, yeah. So Tatum, whatever. What else is scoring? Then there's Lonzo, Danny, Fultz. Fultz, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be trading in the offseason. I don't think I'm going to be trading Tatum yet. But definitely Fultz. Frank Nielakina, I'm probably going to move too. Same with Dragon Bender. Maybe even Zach Collins. And then I would like to sign a big free agent at least offer somebody kevin durant coming here would be pretty dope but i don't think it's gonna happen so let's go to jeff lottery and what are we gonna have like three or four projected number two actually wow the thunder oh they're not gonna get that that's gonna go to minnesota and we get oh we have 14 too we have two and we have 14 very nice and obviously i'm gonna get a new head coach let's bring mike d'antoni back to the uh suns um, okay, let's fire this assistant GM, let's get Michael Williams, Michael Carter's dad, and then let's fire that guy again, Jimmy Lynch, and we have our coaching staff figured out. The coaching staff is actually a lot more important than you think it is in this game. It does help a lot, but Michael Porter Jr., don't draft him, okay? It says that all the time, but injuries aren't on, so I don't give a crap. First, let's trade Joakim Noah. I'm going to obviously trade Danny Green after... Uh, team player options, he'll accept this player option. But thank you, whoever just gave me two second round picks for Joakim Noah. Incredible value you're getting. All right, so Fultz, Ball, Tatum, Isaac, Bender, and Korkmaz. What can I get right now? Okay, nobody wants Korkmaz, but Bender has three stars. I could get Buddy Healed. Hmm. What can I get for the 14th pick in Bender? Really? Nothing. Nothing. Can I get Donovan Mitchell? Um, I don't think it's going to work, but let's try it. Actually, I'll give you Jonathan Isaac, the 14th pick, and Dragon Bender for Donovan Mitchell. And I'll throw you a first in 2020. There we go. We just picked up Donovan Mitchell. Let's go. So, obviously, we don't need a shooting guard anytime soon. So, Fultz and Korkmaz. What can I get? Uh, hold on. Fultz and Korkmaz. Nobody wants Cork Mods. Why? Why is that? A, nobody wants. Okay. I might wait till after the draft. So I'll see you guys. I'm excited with who I drafted with number two. Probably going to look at Aiden or Bagley or Bamba here. All right, guys. So with the second pick, we did take Aiden. I thought about trading down, but the Knicks took Bamba too. Uh, Bruce Brown. Sure. And Dizan Musa. Sure. They actually, I forgot to even make those picks. I auto drafted that. So Green, Deadman come back. Eric Moreland. He went to Oregon State. Uh, Marky Sweden went there. Who else went there? Uh, Gary Payton. The second, did Gary Payton, like, the first go there? I want to say he might have. I don't know. So, Danny Green, definitely want to move on from his $10 million contract. I mean, if we could package him and Fultz, what could we get? Because obviously I want Lonzo starting a point guard and Mitchell starting a shooting guard. I really don't want Fultz coming off the bench. Jared Jackson Jr., I mean, that power forward is definitely a position I want. Josh Jackson, um... I, I, we would have to play really, like, some small ball. Unless, is there a... Oh. Oh, wait. Fultz for Jokic. Fultz. And I'll give you Danny Green. Do you have cap for this? Of course you don't. And I'll give you Fultz and Frank Nielkina for Jokic. Fultz and Jonathan Isaac. 
Did I trade Isaac already? I did. Fultz, Zach Collins, and my first next... All right, Fultz and my first next year for Jokic. I'll throw you this first. I'll throw you now a load of second round picks that I have that I don't plan on using. Okay. And I'll give you... This is a lot. Can I do it without these three first? All right, screw you guys. I, I, I didn't want to even Jokic anyway. I didn't want him anyway. Uh, there's really nobody else that I could play a power forward that I would really want. I'm not going to get Chris Dobbs because apparently I get him too much. Even though in the two-team rebuild, I literally got him for the first time in like a month. And people were complaining in the comments that they get him too much. So, I'm not going to get him. Uh, Jabari Parker would be interesting, but he's a free agent right now. All right, I might wait to trade Fultz till after free agency. But let me just move on from Danny Green right now. And actually, can we do Green and Korkmaz? Or does nobody want Korkmaz now? All right, it should work. Yeah, there we go. All right, somebody just give me like a first-up pick. Keep Gary Neal Dallas. Thank you very much. All right, so let's go to free agency. Obviously, power forward is a huge need. I'm going to try to get Kevin Durant no matter what because it's Kevin Durant. I don't get him a lot. Chris Paul we could get, but we don't need a point guard. I'm not going to go after Cousins or a PG. I mean, I would love to get Jabari. I would love to get Jabari, but they're going to match it. I might trade for him after. Um... And, oh, damn it. Uh, Randall didn't make it a free agency. All right, we can try Eric Gordon, too. But they're probably going to match that. So, after day one, we get Kevin Durant. Okay, never mind. Uh, we actually had Derrick Rose on the team, believe it or not. Uh, watch them. They're going to match Jabari anyway. Yeah, the magic match. But we just got Kevin Durant. Like, what? I never said Kevin Durant. So, that's pretty hype. All right, we got Kevin Durant. So, that means he's going to be, be playing power forward for us. Actually, some, I don't even know if I have to trade Fultz. We have Lonzo, Fultz, Mitchell, Brown will probably be in the G League. Durant, I mean, Tatum, Durant a power forward. Collins backing up. Is Frank Nielo even going to play? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Zach Collins might not. It's either Zach Collins or Markel Fultz. Okay. Can I package DeAndre Aiden and Markel Fultz for like a stud center? Come on, give me better offers than these. Where is my Nikola Jokic offer? I want Nikola Jokic. Actually, I can get any center now. But do I have the cap to get any center is the question. Like, a bead would be very cool, but I don't know if we have the cap. Oh, we do have the cap. All right, I will give you Frank Nielakina and Zach Collins and my pick next year for Joel Embiid. Okay, and another, and a second, and this first and this first and instead of this second i'll give you this first yes let's go we picked up joel Embiid. so we have a lonzo ball lonzo ball marco faults and then we have mitchell then we have durant tatum wait is that enough players one two three oh my god wait i didn't trade deandre aiden <laughs> i meant to trade aiden in that okay never mind one two three four five six seven eight Okay, um, I need a power forward pretty badly. Do we have a bit of a level exception? I feel like we might. Not definitely enough for Michael Beasley. Oh, it's only 4.48. All right, that's definitely enough for Ilya Silva. Ilya Silva will be like the last man on the rotation. Anyway, please just accept accept this. Thank you. I'll see you guys as I start next season with what the team is looking like. Let's go. All right, so let's have a potential. Oh my God, this team is actually like loaded. All right, we're going to send Lonzo. We're going to send... We're going to send Mitchell and we're going to send Tatum. I, I would like for everybody to be in the 90s by the end of this. All right, so let's go to the next season. This team is insane. That's why I traded my pick next year because we're going to be very good. So we have Alonzo, Mitchell, Durant. No, no. This is it. Uh, Ilya Silva, you're the last man in the rotation. Uh, Denman, you're going to get like 14. We'll give 10 to Ilya Silva. I would like to upgrade those two positions uh, in the offseason. Aiden, you can get 23, 26 defaults. 33 to Embiid, 32 to Tatum, 33 here, 33 here, and then let's give one more to Tatum. So yeah, that'll be for me now. I will see you guys at the end of season number two. We're number two according to NBA.com, seven according to 2K Sports, and two according to Mark Spears. Let's win a title this year. All right, guys, so we actually didn't do that good. Well, I mean, we did very well. I just thought we would do a lot better. We went 49 and 33. I thought we were definitely a 51 season, like, lock it. But, yeah, we were Kenny Atkinson was coach of the year. Never thought I'd say that. But the Nets must be pretty good. I don't even know what pick they had. They definitely weren't top four because I remember the top four was Celtics, Warriors, Hornets, Heat. So, 
will be interesting to do. We get anybody on an all-bay team. We should see Kevin Durant somewhere. There he is, an all-bay third team. Um, all defensive team. KD does not get on it. And we didn't have any rookies. Actually, no, we did. We had DeAndre Aiden. He gets all rookie second team. Obviously, because he didn't start. So, we take a look at this. So, we are taking on the 60 to Tim Wolves here in round one. Taking on Clay Thompson, Tobias Harris. Okay. How are the Nets? Uh, they drafted... Wow, Jokic, Bledsoe, and Barnes, and Ibaka. Impressive, impressive that they were this good. So, KD, uh, then followed by Mitchell, and Bead, nine, about nine rebounds. Wish he got in the double-double range, but it's all right. Yeah, I definitely probably plan on upgrading Denman and Elias Silva in the offseason, and maybe moving Tatum and getting a stud power forward or vice versa, or start small forward, because then we can move KD back to small forward. So, round one here against Minnesota. They have Nicole, which I actually showed you guys their team already. As we're up 2-0, so that's going to make me want to simulate the current round. And are we going to blow this? No, we don't. We win in six. Take it on the seven seeded Kings, who were the one seed last year. Yeah, with this team that I didn't think was a one seed at all. Their best players, clearly Andre Drummond, then like TJ Warren, Clarkson, some small good players right there. Um, as we're up 2 on, on them, so that's going to result in me simulating the current round. And we win in five. So we're taking on Portland here in the Western Conference Finals. De'Aaron Fox, Chris Stops, Josh Jackson. That's very good. That's very good. And Valanciunas, that's very solid. Wait, what? How did they draft all four of those? Valanciunas, maybe Fox fell to them in the fourth round. They got Jackson in the second, and then Valanciunas in the third? Or maybe vice versa. And they have Avery Bradley? No, but they signed Avery Bradley. All right, we'll see if we can beat them. They're very good, it looks like. We win game one, though, by 26. Alonzo drops 25, 7, and 8. He went 11 assists. Donovan Mitchell. Game two, we pick up the dub by 16. All right, I think we might be going to the finals. Uh, or did I jinx it? Nope, we won in six. And we're taking on Philly in the finals with Michael Beasley, Chris Paul, Jordan Bell, DeAndre Jordan. All right, I think we should beat them. They do win game one on us. We have not lost game one yet in this playoffs, but we're down 2-0 just like that. Okay, how? I feel that's like that Trailblazers team is definitely better than the Sixers team. 3-2. No, we lost in six. Damn it, how did we not beat the Sixers team? All right, so since I traded pretty much every first round pick I had for Joel Embiid, we got nothing this year, I'm pretty sure. Unless we had some, yeah, we just have two seconds, which I don't really care too much for, because they won't be playing. And let's go to rookie signings. Hey, right, Benny Boatwright, wasn't he from Nova? Oh, never mind. Uh, we'll get Musa from last year. He's actually a 76. Uh, that's not bad. Ri Hachirma from Gonzaga. Oh, is it Musa? No, he's from Bosnia, never mind. Ah, uh, sure, we'll sign him. He's a 6 down overall, so it's nice. So we get Mitchell, Tatum, Ball, Fultz. Oh, I'm so dumb. I should have sent Bruce Brown to the G League. I always forget to do these. Qualifying offers. <laughs> Mindugas Kuzminskis. Remember him? I mean, I don't even know where he played last year, but besides after the Knicks cut him. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, LeBron would be cool, but unfortunately, we would need to clear up $33 million to get him. Uh, um, so, unfortunately, that will not be happening. But... What can I get for Bruce Brown and this first round pick? Like I said, Ilya Silva, I would like to upgrade, and I would like to upgrade uh, Deadman's spot. So, Labissier is definitely an upgrade, and we're getting a first round pick over Ilya Silva. Now, what can we get for Musa? Musa, Hachirma, and a second. Can we get like an 80 overall as well? I feel like some team might throw an 80 at me. Bonga, I'm like Scott Dylan Brooks. Uh, I would like a backup small forward, maybe, or power forward. Actually, no, like a backup uh, small forward. But first, I want to see what I can get for Jason Tatum in the trade finder. What could I get for Tatum? Draymond Green. I mean, I would have to throw an Aiden to make the salaries work, but I don't want to do that. Jalen Brown, not really an upgrade. If I'm not going to get a clear upgrade, I'm not going to do anything. Oh, it's, I'm not throwing into Joel Embiid. Uh, yeah, we're not going to get a clear upgrade, are we? Because I don't want to trade Aiden as well. Aiden's too valuable. Okay, do we have a mid-level exception here in free agency that we can use? Is it, like, a decent amount? Ooh, $9 million. Let's go. Let's go. All right, let's get a backup shooting guard for $9 mil. Can we get Austin Rivers? Austin Rivers. Would you want to come here uh, for $9 mil? Four years. Player option. You bum. All right, have fun playing with your dad and sucking for the rest of your career. Um, Winslow, no. We could get Damari Carroll. I mean, like, J.R. Smith, sure. Malik Beasley wants 14 mil. What crack are you smoking? All right, let's get a Zonia. Let's get a Zonia. 
Uh, I'll give you a four-year deal. Share a player option. Please just accept this. Thank you, Hizonia. So, that is set with the team. I'll see you guys at the start of next season with what the team is looking like. Or I'll see you guys at... Yeah, I'll see you guys at the start of next season. Alright, so Donovan Mitchell is already a 90. So, that means I really want Lonzo to get to a 90 at the end of the year. Probably won't happen. Tatum definitely could. Tatum is an 88. So, let's make sure this is the rotation. Okay, so Hizonia... You're going to be getting 10, minute, uh, 10 minutes as the last guy. Scal, you're going to be getting 15 as the second to last guy. Aiden, you're going to get 23. Fultz, 26. 33 to MB. 35 to KD. 33 to Tatum. 33 to Mitchell. And then 32 to Lonzo. Uh, let's do 32 to Tatum. 33 to Lonzo. All right. That'll be for me now. I'll see you guys at the end of the year. We were three games away from winning it all. Hopefully, we can this year or the season's a bust. All right, guys. So, LeBron wins MVP as I'm recording this. The Cavs Pacers game is about to start. So, by the time you're seeing this video, it might be almost done. I think I might be uploading this like 3 o'clock Eastern time, something like that, 4 o'clock. So, the game might be almost over, over. So, I have no idea the outcome. We went 64 and 18. There we go. But I'm really excited, man. I kind of. It's going to be interesting to see if LeBron's out in the first round. That hasn't happened in so long. What, like nine, ten years? Maybe. I don't know. Has he even lost in the first round? What has he been? I don't even know. Um, I'm not a huge LeBron. I'm not a broad sexual, so I don't know that off the top of my head. But it's been it's been a minute since LeBron has been out before the finals. So, uh, Lonzo Aldi with the first team. Is he a 90? No, he's an 88. Damn it. Did Tatum better have gotten in the 90s? If Tatum did not get it in the 90s, I'm going to be pissed. Okay, thank you. So we had at least four 90s. Fultz, 87. Ball. I, I keep forgetting we even have Marco Fultz on this team. That's how stacked this is. So conference, number one, Suns. Number eight, the Rockets. Also, if you guys are watching this, and you can drop a comment if you'd be interested in this. On my real life channel, I'm thinking about making pretty much a just ball and basketball show. So it'd pretty much be like three uploads a week, seven to 12 minute videos. And I talk about an NBA topic in each video. Uh, we could have like Trade Talk Tuesday, Mock Draft Monday, Miscellaneous Monday, Free Agency Friday, Top 5 Thursday, stuff like that. And it's pretty much like I would answer you guys' questions. And it would kind of be like a first take, first things first, undisputed type thing where it's just like a topic on a video. And I could have like friends come on, debate. Let me know if you guys would be interested in that in the comments below. If you're still watching and you can let me know, I would appreciate it. So here were the stats. And if we go to Team Stats, we were the number one offensive team. And what were we, the 7th best defensive team? Number 1 point differential? Alright, I plan on seeing nothing but a finals appearance as we sweep round 1 against the Rockets. They had Oladipo, Randall, Rodney Hood, Van Vliet, Dinwiddie, Solinger. To get on the Mavericks, I'm going to assume with the current round. We're up 3-1. We win in 5. The Mavericks had Cousins, Buddy Heal, D'Angelo Russell. Okay, they were actually fairly, fairly good. The Nuggets have Westbrook, Steven Adams, Aaron Gordon, basically the Thunder here. Tim Hardaway Jr., this is actually a good team. If they were to be the team to beat us, it'd be Russell Westbrook on KD. We're up 2-1. They tie it to... Okay, we're up 3-2. Let's go! We win in 6. 1-5, in five, or 1-4. in 1-5, 1-6. Are we going to win in 7? Revenge here against the Sixers. Did they add anybody new? They added JJ Redick. Reggie Bullock. Did they add Jeremy Wynn or they had Jeremy Wynn last year? They had Jeremy Wynn. Did Corey Johnson? Okay, we better beat this team. How? How do they beat us by 9 in Game 1? Game 2. What?! How are they up 2-0 on us? Why can't we beat the Sixers? It's actually... And we lost both games at home. Why? Why can't we beat the Sixers? If we get swept, I'm honestly going to cry. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Can we tie... Can we... I mean, I did say we could win in 7, and this would be the case, but... All right. We just barely win this one by three. We almost just choked it in the fourth quarter. If we did, I would have been very upset. And this is the last season anyway, so please. At least make it close. At least make it close. I will hop in. We're down by six. Great job. We're down by nine. All right, down by six, four minutes to go. I'm winning this game. All right, so here we go. I get the starters in. Lonzo to the rack. First play. Easy money. Easy money. Four-point game. Four-point game. Four minutes to go. Plenty of time. Lonzo's got 4.6 rebounds, 13 assists. And Bede's got 8 points. Why, dude? Kevin Durant at 29. We see he actually put in the work this game. Mitchell has 14. Tatum, do not go over here. You have to guard. Who even are you guarding? Is that the Kari Johnson? No way Jordan hits this. Good board, Tatum. Let's go. Kick it to KD. All right, KD. Should I pull up? No, we're going to get to the rack with KD. Actually, Mitchell for three. Bang! Let's go! Perfect release. And it's a one-point game. All right, Chris Paul. Okay. We're up by one. 3.30 left. Let's not blow this. Oh my god, great DMB. Let's go! Kick it to Tatum. Kick it to KD. Uh, nope. Oh, uh, that was really lucky. That wasn't a turnover. Are they going to double team him? Oh, okay. Kick it to Mitchell. 
Don't leave Mitchell open again. Let's go. Back to back green releases with Donovan Mitchell. He's got 20. And just like that, we're up by two in 8 0 run since I started playing. Let's go. I've been practicing against the CPU. All right. Chris Paul wearing number 16 looks very weird. Ah, he's going to hit that. Who's that foul on? Okay, Lonzo. If that was on Tatum, I was going to be upset. Nasty block by Tatum. I shouldn't have jumped with Lonzo. Ah, all right. He's probably going to Chris Paul, great free throw shooter. He's going to knock both these down. And it's going to be a tie game with three minutes to go. So definitely plenty of time. And it's a tie game. We got our... Oh, Embiid on the Sixers, too. We got our best lineup out here. Let's kick it to Lonzo. Oh, I see you, Embiid. Oh, Kevin Durant, you should have cut. All right, oh, well. I mean, I want to pop that. Don't give him that much range. Mitchell to the rack. Oh, my God! Donovan Mitchell just posterized DeAndre Jordan. DeAndre, you're now on a poster, my dude. Oh, my God. All right, we're up by two now. What's that illegal pick? Jay Crowder, what is you doing? What are you doing? We're up by two. All right, we can go up by four, and this would be our biggest lead of the game. We couldn't even go up by five. I want to give it... No, no, no. Okay, I thought Kevin Durant was square, but he's triangle. I forgot he's that power forward. Pick a pop with KD. This could be deadly. This could be deadly. Oh. And one. And one, Kevin Durant. Oh, my God. We're about to be up by five. He's got 31, guys. See, I told you. I don't know why we were losing to this team. This team is so stacked compared to the Sixers team. It's literally so stacked. It's like the Warriors to the Nets. All right, I'm going to go that far. But it's like, say we're the Warriors. Say they're like, I want to say the Clippers. I would say like they're the Nuggets, I would say. Or like they're the Spurs without Kawhi. No, I'm kidding. They're definitely better than the Spurs without Kawhi. Because uh, they got Chris Paul and DeAndre Jordan, which is good. Tatum to the rack and one. Oh my god, that's game. All right, I just used Simcast, and of course, we're down by, we're only up by two now with, we literally haven't scored in the past two minutes, or a minute, and they've scored six points. I'm not surprised. Once I hop in, kick it to Tatum, that's game. Come on, man. I just want to Simcast this so I can go back to the screen, so this video is not so long, but the simulation just, we suck, I guess, in the simulation, and they're just amazing in the simulation. I don't know who their coach is, maybe they Popovich. Oh my god, okay, Dakari Johnson should not be... Even, like, on the same floor as us right now. If we lose to a team where they have, they have Dakari Johnson. I mean, no hit on Dakari. He's a good player in this game. Oh, my God. That went in and out. That better be game. That better be game. Fault is in. Okay. Interesting. All right. Kick it to Tatum. We score here. It's over. We score here. It's over. Uh, Why do they take Kevin Durant out, too? Why do they do that? Maybe that's why we, uh, they just went on a run. All right. Tatum to the rack and one. All right. Going to the line. We're about to be up by five. I'm going to sit and cast this. After I hit the first free throw. Right, we're going to be up by six. That's a two possession game. Alright. I swear to God. If we lose two. If we lose this. Um, Alright. We're going to win. Alright boys. Game seven. Here's the video. We're at home. Watch us lose. Okay. Good first quarter. Good second quarter. Oh. It's a blow. Now, now we blow them out. Alright. We see one of the finals. I would have been very upset if they even swept us. So hey. Oh my God. I was right. Finals MVP is Kevin Durant. We won in... Four, one in five, one in six, one in seven. That's pretty cool. So that's good for me. Thank you for watching. Hit a like button if you guys enjoy. If you guys can give me any uh, feedback on that kind of just ball show I mentioned I have on my in real life channel, uh, I'd appreciate that greatly. Thank you for watching, though. I love you guys. See you guys next video. Peace.